This is Luke from Emo Electric, and we're here today to talk about the new E-Propulsion E-Lite Long Shaft. So the original E-Lite was released last year in 2024. It's a 500 watt, 1.5 horsepower electric outboard. It's lightweight, it's portable, and it quickly became one of our best selling motors. But one of the drawbacks of the original E-Lite is that the shaft was quite short. So even though it's adjustable between 11.1 and 15.7 inches. You can see you can move where that piece connects to the motor. Um, it can still only accommodate a relatively short transom. But the new E-Propulsion E-Lite is adjustable between 17 and 21.7 inches. So if you have a boat with a bigger transom, the new E-Lite long shaft might be the right choice for you. Now, there are a few other small changes and a few other things that have not changed between the short shaft and the long shaft. Uh, of course, the long shaft is a little bit heavier. Um, the tiller is a little bit longer, and there have been some upgrades to the transom bracket, which we're going to talk about in depth in a moment. Uh, but the battery capacity is exactly the same, same charger, um, you know, overall, just some minor tweaks, and then the longer shaft length. If you're interested in seeing this motor out on the water, we'll link to our video where we review the original Elite, uh, so you can check that out there. And if you're interested in buying one of these motors, head over to our online store. We'll link it in the description below, and we ship these motors for free anywhere in the continental US. So the tiller in the new long shaft Elite is a little bit longer than the short shaft version. So the short shaft extends out about 16 inches. With the long shaft version, it extends out just under 18 inches. And then both of these tillers can extend like so. So on the long shaft, we're at 25 inches fully extended. And then on the short shaft, we're at 21 and a half. So with the long shaft version, you can get a little bit further away from the motor uh, when you're steering. So E-Propulsion has made a number of upgrades to the E-Lite transom brackets. First thing you might notice is that these two cylinders that the motor drops down onto are a little bit different. And unfortunately, you can't use the short shaft E-Lite with the long shaft bracket uh, and vice versa. We tried that out uh, and it just doesn't fit quite right. So if you ever need to replace this bracket, make sure you're talking to us or talking to your dealer so that you get the right one for your E-Lite. Um, the next thing we'll talk about here are the transom bolts. So you can see that these are screwed in all the way, but on the long shaft version, this gap is smaller than on the short shaft version. We didn't have any customers come back to us saying that their transom, that these bolts couldn't tighten down on their transom. But for our motor stands, we actually have to throw a little block of wood behind it there so it fits nicely. Uh, so e propulsion has solved that with the long shaft version. If you do have the short shaft and it doesn't fit on your transom well, you can just take a small block of wood and put it in between, tighten it down nicely, and you should be good to go. So the other thing that E-Propulsion has solved with the new bracket is the trim pin. So we had a lot of customers lose their trim pin. Uh, the design just wasn't quite there and they seem like they've solved that. So let me show you how that works. So the trim pin is this piece right here. This adjusts the angle of the E-Lite when it's all the way down. So you really only need to move this once to adjust for the angle of the transom on your boat. And there's this little piece of metal that sticks out there. So we're gonna slide this in. And when the trim pin gets to the other side, there's a little metal plate in there that pushes it back and locks it in, but it didn't push it quite enough on the original version. So what happens is if this is in a bag, it can kind of shake, get loose, and then fall out. On the new version, that plate pushes back a little bit more. So the trim pin just sits a little bit more nicely in there uh, and should be less likely to fall out. We did make another video, which we will link uh, in this one, that shows you how you can secure this trim pin with a zip tie you just put a zip tie, small zip tie around the trim pin there, and then it can't fall out as easily. So we still suggest doing that with the new one, just in case, rather safe than sorry. 
uh, but definitely an improvement there. All right, so the other improvement to the transom bracket here has to do with adjusting steering friction and locking your steering. So you can see the bottom of these look a little different. Um, with the new bracket, you can adjust your steering friction by tightening this damping plate with these four Allen head machine screws. With the old one, it was a hex wrench in there. And then the other big difference is that this one, you have the ability to lock your steering. So you can see there's a little hole in there. And then this pin comes with the E-Lite. And you have to make sure that this is straight and ours might not be. But if it were straight, that pin would slide all the way in. And then that locks your steering. So if you're a sailor and you want to use your boat's rudder to steer, being able to lock the steering there uh, is a big help. So that about does it for the updates to the new long shaft Elite. Again, we ship the ePropulsion Elite, ePropulsion Spirit everywhere in the continental US for free. We'll leave the link to purchase these motors in our online store. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel. It helps us make these videos and head over to our channel to check out more videos on the ePropulsion Elite, ePropulsion Spirit, and other electric outboards.